Welcome back to another video. Today we are in the Open Great League and let's try to get some wins with this new team. So we're going to be trying out the um, Sand Slash paired with the Shadow Alligator and the Lantern. So great matchup here. They do get forced out to switch into their Swamper. We're going to switch out into our Alligator. Um, we are going to be able to throw the Hydro Cannons back at this Swamper. We can resist the Hydro Cannons. So we do tank the first one. Let's see if our opponent ends up shielding or letting this one go. They decided to uh, invest a shield to it. And now all we have to do is just match shields because we were able to tank that first one. We should be able to um, beat this Swampert if we just match. So here comes another Hydro Cannon. This Hydro Cannon threatens the KO or the last shield. They do decide to double shield this situation. And all we have to do here is just shield here and we are already at another Hydro Cannon. So we should be able to win this right here. We, we just have to throw on really good timing and we're going to be able to maintain alignment. Remember, they still have the Gligar. This Gligar, okay, they actually use their um, Mantine here. Mantine is going to have to tank a Hydro Cannon, even though it is resisted. You can see it does pretty decent considering it is a resisted move. And now we're going to be able to hard counter their Mantine with our Lantern. They decide to switch out into their Gligar. We're going to throw this Surf to chip away at this Shadow Gligar, forcing them to use some energy right here. This uh, potential dig is not going to KO, but um, we're going to be able to build up to another uh, Surf and take out this Gligar. And we know that they have that Mantine still, so forcing that Mantine to throw some energy or to get KO. So G2 Star Opponent able to win that game basically with the Lantern. Lantern. Um, able to outpace the Gligar and the man team to their moves. So next game, let's see what we find. We got the Sand Slash versus the Charge Bug. Okay, definitely don't want this in the back. So we're going to stay in for now and just play this out. We know that we can survive one move, um, but let's see if we invest a shield here. No shield right here because we do survive. And it looks like our opponent does switch out into the Azumarill. This allows our Lantern to just feast because even though Spar did get a debuff, um, it is still, at the end of the day, super effective against water water types, right? So we're going to be able to get to this Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt here is going to do some huge damage, but Azumarill is so tanky, able to tank a super effective um, Thunderbolt. But this allows us to farm it down now. We know that we can survive the next play rough, and now we have energy for whatever comes back in. If they are going to... Okay, it looks like the Charger Bug decides to come back in to potentially farm us down. But we have one Surf ready. We're trying to build up to another Surf. We luckily have enough for two Surfs here to get this low enough to where they have to think about shielding. They don't shield this. And they, they switch out immediately into their Annihilate. So they did snipe our energy. But we can see right here the Shadow Claw of the Feraligator is doing too much damage towards this Annihilate. That uh, in the two shield situation it's just going to struggle to... Uh, get through it unless they get the boost but maybe they were only running ice punch and that's basically um their sign that they're they not going to win that game so here we have a terrible lead we're going to have to just sack this for alligator as it is um not going to do super effective damage with their charge moves but we're just going to chip away with our fast moves okay we do get a shield from our opponent let's see what move they throw here okay ends up being the icy win they're gonna icy win us and then dip out of there we can get to another Hydro Cannon here. This is not the KO, so they're probably going to let this one go. But you can see it does get them into the yellow. Now we're going to have to use our Sand Slash to perfection because we know that the Sand Slash doesn't want to face that Poly Wrath either. One Discharge goes through. We can survive it. Here we're going to... Okay, we're going to have to let this one go and just put everything on the line with our Lantern. So Lantern here is going to probably have to tank a move here. Unfortunately, they do get to another move. This should be the X Scissor if they're running it. Makes sense. And now we have to beat the Polyrath and whatever's in the back with this Lantern. We do get... Oh, no shield from our opponent. They are just saving all of, of their um, shield and energy for their last Pokemon here. Here, we're going to have to shield. Ends up being the Icy Wind. If we um, had played this a little bit better, we should have ended up with two shields in this matchup here. And maybe we would have had a chance, but because they have the shield advantage, um, we're gonna have to we're gonna we're gonna lose this. So GG Star opponent. I definitely shouldn't have shielded that Raligator. I was just kind of making a hard read that uh that Feraligator would have been useful in the back. Um definitely would have been useful against the Gliker, but um unfortunately 
they didn't bring it in until the end. All right, we got the lantern in the front here. Definitely want it to be played out in the in the front. Uh, we're going to throw on weird timing here so that uh, they don't potentially catch or they don't expect it. Wanderer Run does get shielded. We're going to switch and try to catch a Surf. Unfortunately, they do not throw the Surf. So they do get their, what is that, Gudra? Their Gudra does um, get lured out um, because the Sand Slash was in the front. And now they're potentially just going to farm up a ton. Okay, we're going to have to let this go. But this Lantern, at least just some chip damage to get it into the yellow. Here, we're going to have to build up energy. We know that they only could throw Aqua Tails and Power Whip because they have revealed Power Whip. Aqua Tail goes through, doesn't quite KO. We're trying to build up. Unfortunately, can't build up to two. So we're going to have to throw this Ice Punch here immediately. It does take out the Gudra. And now we have... Um, Okay, we're going to try to get a shield from our opponent. Let's see if they are going to invest their last shield here. They do get the last shield, and now we're going to have to win this game with two shields for Alligator. Um, you can see here, okay, we do shield the correct Thunderbolt too, so this is fantastic. Not only that, but um, we do have the neutral crunch incoming. We know they had a ton of energy. Two Thunderbolts go through, okay? Uh, unfortunately, we're not running Ice Beam, and this is not going to take out the... Alteria. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to outpace this team here. They had a great um, counter to our Lantern in the back with that Gudra just absolutely walling all of their moves. This guy tag is enough to take out for Alligator, and that's GG's right there. So that that um, that switch out that we had unfortunately didn't catch any of their um, Lantern energy, and then they were able to snowball with their uh, Gudra. All right, next, let's see. We got the Bastiodon versus the Sandslayer. It's a pretty decent matchup here. Um, in fact, we have triple counters to this Bastiodon, but if we know anything uh, from the last season, Bastiodon is paired with some pretty um, hard-hitting... Okay, there's the there's the Grassed uh, Razor Leaper. We, so we did decide to switch out because we had that Sandslayer that we think is going to be triple good against this team. So we do save some of that health on the Sand Slash. And we're just making a call. We're thinking uh, maybe like a Wiggly Tuff is in the back. We're, we're, not, we're not entirely sure we're just making a, a read right now. Here we're going to have to shield the first one. Ends up being the Sand Tomb. This Sand Tomb here does debuff our uh, defense. And we're going to have to apply the pressure. We do get the second shield from this uh, Torterra. And luckily we are able to reach another Ice Punch to take out this Torterra. And maybe we can um, leave this match up here to reset. So we do reset and now we face the Bastiodon. Mean, this Bastiodon here is going to throw a move. We're going to shield because we think there's wiggly type in the back. And we need the health as high as possible. Let's see if we're right. Ends up being the one and only Guard of War. So they ended up having another Charmer. Not technically not a Wiggly, but it's the same idea. It's the Charmer. And I'm... Um, we did shield the correct move with the Bastion and save this health on the Lantern. So we're going to be able to take out this Gardevoir. GG's to our opponents and they realize their fate and they just basically quit. So check out this team if you haven't already and let us know if you enjoyed the video.